Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the True AX9 stick review. So I had time to use this on the ice. You can see some of the marks on it and everything. Um, so I'm pretty confident in how I feel about this stick and how it actually plays so I can do the full review on it right now. But before that, if you are making any purchases and are in the US, click the link in the description to Pure Hockey or Pure Goalie. Buy anything hockey related, clicking that link, gives me a kickback, so help support the channel, so I keep doing videos like this. Otherwise, if you wanna help support the channel, check out the link in the description to Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee. Anything through there will go right back into the channel so I keep doing what I'm doing, because I purchase basically everything myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. Firstly, I think this is one of the best looking sticks on the market. I know it means nothing at all, but the blue carbon looks unreal, and I really like what they did with that. But obviously looks mean absolutely nothing and it's all about how this puck, this stick plays. The thing I notice on this stick is puck feel on this. This is a super pingy blade. And I think it's more than whatever True has done before. I like it. I like the puck feel for it. It's obviously personal preference. Some people like the softer feel and I don't mind softer feel blades, but I really liked using this stick. Puck handling, passing, basically anything like that felt really good. Shooting with this stick was fine. It wasn't amazing. And I'll get to that a little bit later though, but for like the blade didn't feel like it opened up or anything, it was pretty solid. And that's like the big change on this stick compared to other true sticks that I've used in the past. I think this one's really pingy. And again, I'm, I'm a fan of that, but people like different things. With that said, one of my favorite sticks is the Nexus Geo because of how the puck feels and that's a much more dampened blade. So it's kind of like, it, it's, it's good for both ways. It just kind of depends what you really want. So True says that this is the lightest stick that they ever had. And I believe that's true until the PX comes out, which will be um, obviously lighter. And it's coming out, I think in 2020. This True says is 393 grams. Mine came in at 409. Now the thing to remember about that too, weight matters. When you're in the CCM territory for the new trigger, which is like 360, if you cut it down, it's pretty ridiculous. I, this stick never felt heavy. It never felt unbalanced. It actually felt really good. Using this, I use this next to the Sherwood Code V and the Code, or Code 5. The Code 5 is lighter than this stick is, but this stick felt way more better balanced. So like when I was reaching for pucks, it was easier. When I was, everything like that just felt way better on the True. Now, with that said, this stick weight is actually not really impressive because here is the length of a CCM stick compared to a true stick. Now, I don't cut my sticks because I am six foot three, so I, the little bit extra height on the CCM makes sense for me. This CCM stick, I think, was 390 grams, and they if you cut it down, it becomes 375. So I'll put the weights up on the corner over here. So you can see even this thing, this true stick was 409 and it was, it's heavier than what this CCM one is by quite a bit and it's a shorter stick. So that's something to think of. Now shooting this stick was fine. It didn't blow me away. The thing I liked most about it is I mentioned the puck feel on the blade and everything like that. The pucks, the puck feel and passing and like basically just chipping the puck away. So. This is a normal curve for me. It's the Marner for True, it's the TC2, which is the toe curve two. They have a bunch of different lies. This is just the stock one. It's the closest thing to a P29, P92. So I get that just so it's consistent. The thing I noticed about this blade a lot and what I really, really liked about it, I'm not sure what the difference really is, because to be honest, they all feel really similar and you can kind of take a look here and even the CCM one does look a bit thinner. But the thing I noticed about the True stick a lot is my passing with this was really good and my chipping of the puck was really good. I was really able to get the puck up and like saucer pass really easy. Now some sticks I have more trouble with than others. It almost feels like the thinner the blade, the easier it is to get under the puck. Now I don't know, like again, this curve is really similar to everything else, but something about this stick and using it allowed me to really easy saucer and really easy chip against the boards and get over people's stick just like breakouts and stuff like that. So I was really impressed with this stick for that. Again, that's more of a curve thing, but for something about here in this blade, it worked well for me and I was really confident when using it. <clears throat> and that was me coming off of the break from the lockdowns and everything. So that is, was pretty impressive that I felt really comfortable going into that right away. As a comparison, using this the Sherwood, I wasn't comfortable at all and it's the exact same curve basically. Kind of interesting there. The one thing that I want to give more props to True about is the grip on this feels way better than previous sticks. So I've had issues with True sticks in the past where the grip starts peeling, had that on the goalie stick. This one feels much better in a much more traditional type of grip than some of their stuff in the past. While I liked the other grip in the past and how it felt, I think the 6.0 SBP had it. It just, it's like almost peeled off for me. This one feels more traditional compared to Bauer and CCM. So I think this one should last a bit longer. So I got to give props for that as well. Shooting this stick was fine. It wasn't mind blowing. 
but it was okay. Like I never shot this and thought, damn, that's really good. Kind of like the recent CCM ones and there's kind of the recent power ones too. It just shot okay. It felt like, okay, that was a decent shot. I can get a hold of it. It wasn't blowing me out of the water. With that said, it does play like an actual 85 where I had issues in the past with true sticks where a 85 to me play like a 75. And I really noticed that when passing, my shots felt a little harder and like a quicker release, but the passing and stick handling on that 85, it felt like a noodle. So I really had to adjust with that. So I felt like it was almost misleading in that sense. This one feels like an 85. It doesn't, I can pass with this fine. I can stick handle with this five. It doesn't flex under my, like my weight or my grip. So that is really good in that sense. So this stick comes in at 329, I think Canadian. I'll put the actual price up here. Um, the problem with this, well, one, it's cheaper than what these CCM ones are, but the reason why this, like this stick is fine by all means, but the reason it's not like blowing me away and everything is because basically these exist. So these are both triggers, trigger four and trigger five pro. I haven't shot the trigger five pro, but the reason I pull it out here is because it's this stick I weighed was 370, I think grams. It, they say it's 365 at 60 uh, inches, which is the same as the, the, the true here. So that would be 365 compared to 409. That's pretty impressive. The other thing is, while these sticks were both more expensive, I actually, I can't remember what the Trigger 4 Pro price was, I think it was 350. Both the Trigger 4 Pro shot so much better than the AX9 that it was like, it just, the release is so much quicker that it makes it really hard to say like that this is top tier. It's a great stick, balance is great, like feel I like and everything like that. But when these exist and the weight of those exist, this one's kind of lagging behind a bit. And now at the price point, it almost is the one step down now because CCM is up their price. So it makes it a little bit more fair, but this I'm comparing their top sticks to the top sticks because that's really what they're competing against. And right now this, this just doesn't push the boundaries. It doesn't do anything super special. And for that, it's like, if I had to recommend these two, if price isn't an option, I would easily go trigger all the time. That's kind of what I do is I talk about like the performance and what is really pushing things. This isn't pushing anything. It's a solid stick. I think it's true's like best offering for a low kick stick yet. I like what they did with the pingy blade. And I like that true went that way because their other ones were so much softer. And now they have kind of both offerings. So I think this is a great stick and true true coming out with what this is. I'm really happy for and I think it was a good move. And while it did come out like last year, both of these CCMs and the trigger four that did come out last year basically blows it away and, and puck like release. And it's just, it's so much a quicker release and it's so much lighter that it's like, well, at least the trigger five is so much lighter. That's, it's hard for me to say like, yeah, the true is amazing. It, it's good. It just, it can't compete with these. And it's kind of disappointing in that sense. Again, no issues with true. It works. It's just not pushing the boundaries. So really, if you like that really stiff blade, it might be a good option. I would have no problem recommending the true over the vapor right now, the Flylight, cause it's, while the Flylight's a bit lighter, this one, in my opinion, shoots pretty similar, if not a little bit better. And the blade, I feel, while it's super pingy on the Flylight, isn't as great for just overall playability as this one is. I think the Flylight's kind of the, the weakness in the whole Bauer lineup. So I would really like not hesitate to say, check this one out compared to the Flylight, but compared to the triggers, it's kind of just lacking. Again, not bad stick, but you have to compare it to the competition. Right now, the competition is just on another level compared to everyone else right now. So it's more of a prop to CCM than anything else, but here we are. So that's about it for the video of the true AX9 stick. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it will help you with your purchase decisions and everything. If you, if my videos are helpful, if you do make a purchase because of one of my videos, please just have to manufacture on social media, let them know. I'm not a true athlete, like a bunch of those other people on Instagram are. So I paid for this myself and yeah. So if you are making a purchase of any hockey equipment or gear, check the link in the description. If you're in the U S go to pure hockey or pure goalie, click on that link, make a purchase gives me a kickback. So I'll keep doing videos like this and making more content. Otherwise, if you want to support me, check out Patreon and buy me a coffee in the description, click on those links and supporting this channel. Everything will go back into it so I can keep doing what I'm doing and keep making more content. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.